Oumuamua has made a comeback and it's not slowing down. Remember Oumuamua, that intriguing object with an unusual orbit that caught our attention in late 2017? Well, it's causing a bit of concern now. All signs point to it originating from the vast emptiness between the stars or interstellar space. Scientists are sounding the alarm about its potential impact on Earth due to its eerie nature and movement. Some even speculate it might be an alien battle spacecraft. Are extraterrestrials attempting to spy on us? Could Oumuamua be a comet with plans to wipe out humanity or a spacecraft gearing up for conquest? Let's delve into the ongoing journey of Oumuamua and its impending impact. When you hear the term alien probes, what comes to mind? Perhaps it conjures images of 1960s abduction stories where extraterrestrial surgeons use instruments to investigate human subjects. Or maybe it brings to mind something like Oumuamua, a cigar-shaped visitor from interstellar space that swung around the centre of our solar system, passing about 15 million miles from Earth in 2017. Another category of potential probes piques the interest of scientists, including ABYLB from Harvard University. YLB, a plasma physics expert, has explored the ocean floor for signs of extraterrestrial visits and has theorized that Oumuamua could have been a spacecraft from another planet. Earth scientists have sent out space probes like Voyager and New Horizons to gather data about space and other planets. So, in theory, these could be similar types of probes. Whether from another planet or our own, space probes are essentially scientific devices sent into space to collect information. Yet, Earth scientists currently lack the expertise to send a probe into space and bring it back. This is why astronomers and physicists are tirelessly working to understand how extraterrestrial spacecraft might navigate interstellar space to reach Earth and how we could intercept their messages. The desire of an extraterrestrial civilization to send a probe to Earth faces two significant challenges, distance and time. For instance, if a probe were dispatched from the Andromeda Galaxy, our closest galactic neighbour, it would have a staggering 2.5 million light-year journey ahead. To put it into perspective, one light-year equals 6 trillion miles. If extraterrestrials aimed to return their probe before their civilization collapsed, they'd need to travel faster than light. Could they have cracked the code on using theoretical wormholes, warp drive technology, or other advancements beyond our current understanding of physics? The mystery continues. Extraterrestrial travelers face additional obstacles, even if they crack the code for the galactic speed limit during their lengthy journey to Earth. To withstand the challenges of space radiation and debris, alien engineers must design probes with durable materials. This requires developing new substances with improved toughness and hardness, as the ability to resist deformation is crucial for impact resistance. Consider the remarkable Oumuamua, which made its way through our inner solar system in the fall of 2017. As the first object from a different solar system, it earned historical significance and was named 1i slash Oumuamua by astronomers. This name is commonly shortened to Oumuamua. Astronomers had long anticipated an interstellar object akin to Oumuamua, and in 2017, NASA's Thomas Zurbuchen confirmed the existence of such objects. Subsequently, a second interstellar object, 2i slash Borisov, was discovered in August 2019, resembling a typical comet with a tail and coma. What sets Oumuamua apart is its lack of a tail and coma. Unlike the anticipated interstellar object, this oddly shaped visitor didn't resemble a typical comet but seemed to emit gas as it travelled. The leading hypotheses suggest sublimation of hydrogen or nitrogen ice from other solar systems. As the first known interstellar visitor, Oumuamua provides insights into planetary systems beyond ours. Its unique shape initially appeared elongated, resembling a large cylinder, but subsequent measurements revealed a flatter, pancake-like form. This contrasts with the minor planet Aeroth in the Kuiper Belt, 
observed by NASA's New Horizons probe and other similarly shaped objects beyond Neptune. The brightness data, presented in the form of a light curve, allowed scientists to determine the size and shape of Oumuamua as it traversed through space. Observations revealed that when we viewed the broader side of Oumuamua, it appeared brighter. Despite our efforts, the specific stellar system of Oumuamua's origin remains a mystery. However, in 2018, researchers managed to trace Oumuamua's path back to its original trajectory towards the Sun. Surprisingly, it was found that a million years ago, the object passed close to four stars, with the red dwarf star HIP 3757 being the closest encounter. Whether Oumuamua originated there or has been drifting through space for an extended period is still uncertain. In our solar system, planets, asteroids and comets typically follow predictable orbits around the Sun. However, Oumuamua's trajectory was hyperbolic, meaning it approached the Sun at an extremely high speed, minimally influenced by the Sun's gravity and not captured in a circular orbit. Despite moving at a relative speed of 16.36%, as it was 23 million miles from our star, Oumuamua went unnoticed until October 19, 2017. Astronomer Rob Werrick of the University of Hawaii discovered it using observations from the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, PANSTARS. At that point, Oumuamua was 21 million miles from Earth and eventually came as close as 15 million miles. Since its discovery, Oumuamua has been exiting our solar system, propelled by a gravity boost from the Sun, reaching a speed of 54.2 m per s. Due to its small size and rapid motion away from Earth, the observation window was brief, with the Hubble Space Telescope providing the longest tracking period. Merging data from the Very Large Telescope in Chile and the Gemini South Telescope produced detailed images of Oumuamua. Currently beyond Neptune's orbit, Oumuamua is heading toward Pegasus, no longer visible as it speeds through the Kuiper Belt a region of frozen objects near the solar system's edge. The question of whether it could return to Earth, or if it might be an alien probe, sparks curiosity. Its nature remains speculative, with the understanding that gravitational forces from gas giants pulled Oumuamua out of its orbit, indicating its origin from a planetary system beyond our solar system. The initial assumption that Oumuamua was a lifeless comet was challenged with the discovery of two i Borisov, reshaping astronomers' views on interstellar objects. Boiling points, akin to water, gradually dissipated over billions of years, either within its original system or in proximity to other stars. Interestingly, Oumuamua, lacking the typical cometary tail, revealed non-gravitational acceleration detected by the Hubble Space Telescope upon departing from the Sun. Unlike typical comets, which emit water vapor and dust, Oumuamua showed no signs of releasing such volatile substances. The prevailing theories about Oumuamua propose two intriguing possibilities. According to Arizona State University's Alan Jackson and Steve Dash, Oumuamua could be a solid chunk of nitrogen ice or a fragment expelled from a Pluto-like object due to a massive impact. The sun's heat might have melted nitrogen outgassing, offering Oumuamua a reflective boost as nitrogen endows comets with a higher albedo of 0.64. Calculations by Jackson and Dash indicate that Oumuamua would need to be smaller than initially thought to exhibit such a pale appearance, estimated at 148 by 144 by 25 feet if constructed from nitrogen ice. Another hypothesis from Cornell University's Daryl Seligman and Berkeley University's Jennifer Bergner suggests that cosmic rays interacted with Oumuamua's surface ice in interstellar space. This process freed hydrogen from water molecules, creating hydrogen gas trapped in amorphous water ice. As Oumuamua passed the sun, the altered crystal structure allowed hydrogen to escape, providing the apparent propulsion. This also explains the absence of a dust tail, as the dust remained trapped in the water ice. 
Harvard University's Abraham Loeb and Shmuel Bialy proposed a fascinating theory that Oumuamua might be a solar-powered spacecraft, considering its non-gravitational acceleration. An artificial origin could explain the peculiarities of this extraterrestrial visitor. Oumuamua's trajectory suggests it is not local, yet its size and shape remain a mystery due to the lack of detailed photographs. Astronomers rely on its brightness and their knowledge of asteroid and comet reflectivity to estimate its size. Loeb and Biley doubt the comet theory for Oumuamua since there's no observable coma or tail. They dismiss the idea of outgassing affecting its rotation as there's been no noticeable change. Instead, they consider the possibility of the object's initial break-free being responsible for its motion, but note the repeated non-gravitational acceleration, suggesting it's not a permanent effect. Proposing a new idea, they suggest that sunlight could be influencing Oumuamua's movement. Their analysis indicates that if Oumuamua is extremely thin, 0.3 to 0.9 mm, solar radiation pressure could explain its observed non-gravitational acceleration. They suggest a light sail, a technology previously demonstrated in space missions, as a potential explanation. Calculations by Loeb and Bialy suggest that a light sail Oumuamua could endure a lengthy interstellar journey, potentially covering 16,000 light years. Despite their fascination with the extraterrestrial possibility, they don't definitively claim Oumuamua is an alien spacecraft. However, they explore the idea that it might be space debris, or even an active spacecraft sent to explore our solar system. The anomaly of Oumuamua's discovery raises questions. If it's part of a random population, the chance discovery implies an astronomical number of such objects being ejected by every Milky Way star. Moreover, the alignment of Oumuamua's motion with the local standard of rest complicates pinpointing its origin. Loeb emphasizes that conventional rockets won't catch up to Oumuamua as it heads towards the outer solar system. That said, there's a chance we might get a close-up view of the object. The idea is to launch small robotic probes with sails, racing towards Oumuamua at incredible speeds. Initiatives like Breakthrough Starshot aim to send such a vessel within the next few decades. While catching Oumuamua may not be the primary goal, the experience offers valuable lessons for future encounters with similar objects passing through our vicinity. By conducting extensive observations inspired by Oumuamua, astronomers can gain insights into other intriguing celestial bodies currently within our view. Now, let's consider the hypothetical scenario of the Oumuamua space probe making a return. Do we need to construct a Corellian shipyard for this? Assuming something extraordinary happens, which is quite a leap in itself, it's worth pondering our actions if the asteroid space probe revisits. To pursue the probe, humanity must deepen its understanding of dark energy in the cosmos. One suggestion is to send a spacecraft after the asteroid probe, but the challenge is immense. Oumuamua travels at a hyperbolic excess velocity of 5.5 AU per year, surpassing any object humanity has launched into space. So, what kind of vessel would we need? How far-fetched is our endeavour from realistic physical theory? Should we board the ship in space or use fuel to escape Earth's gravity before embarking on the space journey? And how should we navigate through space, using solar sails or perhaps through a wormhole? However, the concept of wormholes poses three challenges. Firstly, they tend to collapse just before attempted passage. Secondly, they connect to other universes, not just distant corners of our own. And thirdly, constructing a wormhole remains an enigma for us. In an attempt to establish a launching point around the edges of the asteroid belt, echoing Freeman Dyson's earlier proposal, envision a trip to a low as experiencing an allo drive, akin to gliding along a moving airport conveyor belt. A potential solution could be a device referred to as a warp bubble. Picture this as the airport conveyor expanding behind you, propelling you forward, while the imaginary space in front shrinks, pulling you closer. Within and beyond the bubble, 
space-time remains flat, but its periphery curves, creating the impression of a compressed bubble. The challenge lies in the requirement for negative mass to form a warp bubble, contributing to the mystery of constructing a warp engine. To move a spaceship the size of a car, one would need to conjure an object with Jupiter's mass, all while generating negative mass somewhere in the cosmos. The precise method for humans to harness this untapped potential remains elusive. Thank you for tuning into another episode. While you're still here, don't forget to click on the video on your screen for more captivating content about space.